Coopy, who won John John and East? Man, listen, this is the East. This is easy, 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 easy. John John took that. I don't have. To, I don't care about what the crowd was doing. You feel me? And only thing that I dock John John points for is for saying your your label fucking you with no condom yeah. going in on your cheeks raw. He shouldn't have said in Philly because Philly is the no, it's not New York. Is. John John is a very if anything Philly don't nah, do the pause. They always say that. So you got it backwards. Nah, New York's home. New York is home of the no homo. The pause, that shit is heavy over there in Philly. You feel me? Like all of that. Like New York and Philly, yeah, both of them. Both of them. But just know him being from New York and Atlanta, he should know not to take mm. no gay shit to Philly. So if you want to dot John John around for that, I'm not, because when he said the line five times, that's what I would have did. Like niggas, shut up. It's a slow it down. I just dissed you after this. So I can't take the cheeks raw out because then when I run in age, uh, da, 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 it's not going to have the sequence of everything. And I need cheeks raw in that. You feel me? Pause if necessary. Then I told y'all that after the line and you still, y'all just wanted this nigga to win. And this nigga lied to us. Feel me? This nigga is not who he said he was. And I've been who I said I've been this whole time. You, you said he's not who he said he was? That's easy to do. Nah, he, he's not. He he told us I never got touched. I never been punched. I never been. We all been touched, punched, jumped, sucker punched, nigga. One fights, lost fights, every day. So when you go in there and say that's never happened to me, like when Twerk did it, what happens? People from your past, the villains from when you weren't a superhero, they come out and remind you that you're not that guy you say you are now. They'll remind you, and that's what happened when with the whole easy situation. So John is a tactician. He went in there and rapped how he was supposed to. His pockets were dope. Um, it's a Philly. He's in Philly. So Easy was supposed to clearly win that. Even if niggas said he didn't in the building, he was supposed to clearly win that. He didn't clearly win that to me. So it's like, that's a John John 2-1. Not mad at niggas that gave it to Easy, but Easy's on, on the down, down slope. slope. So it's like, there's no way a John John... Yeah, there's no way John John is supposed to fucking hang with Easy, bro. Like, Easy's supposed to battle Surf, Tay Rock, these niggas, right? You cannot get these niggas you can get them still because everybody's battling anybody, but you can't get these niggas on the contingencies of what we want to see it, which is Easy's unbeatable. I need to see him versus Surf or Rock. This ain't that easy. It's a different Easy. It's a high grade. E that Easy could beat me. That Easy could beat Riggs. That Easy could beat all these other niggas. But us, just the fans, no battle rap shit. That's not the that's mm. not the peak of battle rap anymore. And if you say I'm lying, let me know if I'm lying. That's not the peak of battle rap anymore. So I wouldn't say it was Geechee's performance versus him either. So us fans are just looking for what the next biggest thing is. You know, Twerk beating Mook allegedly with that shaky ass motherfucking repeating the lines while Murder Mook is spitting his shit policy. You could give it to him as a new fan, but a real seasoned fan would look at that battle yep. and say Mook 2-1. Why? You know why? Because it's a different perspective of looking at what the peak of battle rap is. Nigga, you should have known, known that shit. Twerk, for real. No repeating them lines. You don't even write your lines. So when you're repeating your lines, you're actually cheating because you're going okay. over your notebook in your head. The bigger nine. The bigger nine. Hold on. The bigger nine. That's a nigga stumbling, technically. So if you listen to Mook and listen, and you're a real seasoned fan, there's no way you could give it to Twerk. Only way you give it to Twerk is you'd be like, yeah, he got the modern day punchlines. Man, that's what I want to hear. Never heard uh, his body been wrapped up all year like, like Uncle Murder and all this other shit. And he just did it differently than anybody else. So that shock value had niggas giving the okay. battle to twerk. But a real season fan, they'll know, nigga. Yank. So, yeah, John John took that, man. And shout out uh, Easy because what he's doing is so groundbreaking. Yeah. Everybody's hating on him. Like, everybody's hating. Like, they're hating on him because he's, he's breaking through barriers that nobody has. You feel me? The call that twerk got to be on the Bel Air show, twerk missed that. Easy picked that up. Then he went like to be mainstream peacock mainstream pause if necessary right he went mainstream then he then he started dating like secretly an industry person that he did have an nda sign with where he can't really brag about it but he kind of a little bit because any windows don't count on the nda it's like oh i didn't say it it was a roundabout way so it's like he's breaking through barriers and he's starting leagues he's getting bags to niggas he's getting on and putting other niggas on why would you hate on easy whether he got punched or not i don't care if he got punched I okay. care how good he rap. So niggas care genuinely about if he got punched or not. And that's where battle rap is like on a downslope. But like, if that's what it takes, then you about to be really upset with a lot of your favorites because a lot of them ain't doing that shit 24-7. They're actually doing family shit. They're doing regular. They're not the gangster 24-7. So if you're holding me accountable to this, then 
Damn, man. We, we all I don't think we're going to wrestle the Dow Slope no more. I used to think back. it was, but now it's kind of lit. This whole this whole year, them changed it, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, shit. I don't know, man. It's I, I call it, if, if you talk about Easy every day, whether you said something good or bad about him, I think okay. he won. Like, we still talking about Easy more than Geechee. We talking about Easy more than Geechee still. So it's like, who really genuinely, you know? Like, he's still in a good position, and I think niggas should support him. Like, it's hella easy to do what everybody else is doing, you know? Yo, who won? Do that. Especially when hey, hey QP, who them. wins? Easy or Tay Rock? That's, man, I got Tay Rock. As a, I, you know, I don't like Tay Rock at all. But as the algorithm of, like, man, battles that mean something, and then that nigga, he don't got no stumbles ever. No chokes ever. This nigga's been battling 30 years. So to look at a nigga like that, Versus a nigga like that, yeah, now nah, he gonna talk to him, and then he gonna not say all the shit that other people said already. And when he does say it, Rock says it so fucking direct. It's like, damn, why didn't I think of that? And you never can, cause Rock has his own. There's no baby Rocks out here to me. If you look at a battle rapper and name him right now, can you name a baby Tay Rock? Like I don't know none. So it's like when you can't name a baby version of the nigga, it's really hard to beat that nigga when he's in his bag. So twerk, there's a lot of baby twerks. So that means any given Sunday, twerk and go get his ass handed to him. Tay Rock can't get his ass handed to him unless it's outside of battle rap, you know, in his personal private life. Other than that, nigga's not handing him his ass. It's not, it don't come on the platter. That shit nigga's gonna do what he do every single fucking time. Wild help and caution. So, that okay, okay. Dumb. You're missing a question. All right, who wins? Uh, Big K Rock, or Tay Rock? Now, that's crazy. That's all based on the environment of where the battle takes place. If Tay Rock battles Big K on Chrome, right, where it's neutral, no RBE, no URL, then that's just going to be, man, I, I want to lean more towards Big K because he's more, he's more modern, more modern with heavy hitting punches that appeal to the okay. babies, to the old people. So, like, his demographic is right. But then Rock, his, his, the way he does his punches, I wouldn't say they're more clever than Big K. But I would definitely say they're put together a way Big K can't put it together, or like me and you can't put it together. But we're able to digest it easily when he does it and be like, "Damn, this is mm -hmm. a great battle." So, but I, I would myself, myself, if did you have Big K beating Big, yeah. uh, Big Bag Jazz? Okay, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. I'm with that movement. I, I just know Big K to know what to say. So I would have probably Big K in a classic two one. Okay, now who wins, like Big K it. or Easy? Okay. That's you don't give a big K to to, to I mean a easy to big K. You know what big K does with people that's been in scandals and shit like that. Mm -hmm. like, you don't want to hear that. Like he don't have them short. You know, just just like how a franchise just said, put a sleeping with ease, like Remy Ma. Like those type of bars when niggas just put the simplicity of a whole situation mm -hmm. in the six words. <laughs> sleeping with E. I put ah sleeping with E. Like Remy Ma, six words, seven words. Like, niggas that put it together like that, man, that's just hard to, to defend with, with, nigga, it's a lesson in every bar. What are you teaching me when a white boy just schooled you? What you going to teach me? How are you going to get to these payments when this nigga just paid attention to what you was doing and made you pay up on that? He here to debt collect. Like, that shit is, you know what I'm saying? Big K, bro, man, damn. Big K, one of the best, bro. Like, top five, like, not even for white rappers, but just for battle rappers, Yo, who, period. That nigga's a, QP, whose status is higher, man. right? Big K or Ill Will? All time. All the way up to right now. Big K or Ill Will? Uh, 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 uh. Nah, man, we can't do that. Like, I was, man, I put them niggas neck and neck, red neck and neck, black neck and neck. Um, I have Big K as I have Big K being ill will on King of the Dot. Oh, I didn't know they battled. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't judge that as whether the other one's better than the other one. I just say, damn man, it wouldn't lose either. I don't know, man. I wouldn't even want to disrespect either one of them. That's that'd be disrespect to be like, oh yeah, for sure, ill will Big K. Nah, I, I would say they right there. And what they do here in these last couple right now, that's going to determine everything. Like the next, like between him and Ill Will, whoever take a loss next, that's going to determine whether we be like, oh yeah. But you got everybody saying Ill Will, but Big like, K's the one who can arguably say I beat Mook and I beat Rex in the same year. And he's going to run for champion of the year before Ill Will, over Ill Will. 
Oh, you saying Big K could say he yeah. beat Rex and Luke in the same year? He can argue that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. But I mean, that's, yeah, that's kind of crazy because even you give uh, you give him the win when you gave Mook the win over, yeah. over Twerk. So it's like, you feel me? Like, you could there's a lot of my niggas that gave that battle to murder Mook. And you gave that to Big K. I gave that battle to Big K. I said, he said too yeah. much direct shit to that man. It don't matter that Mook, Mook got one of the best deliveries and believability in battle rap. That don't matter. Nigga, I need the bars with that shit, bro. You just nigga over here polishing turds all year, and he's so good at it that we don't realize the shit till we bite into it. We be like, ooh, I do this thing. Oh, hell no. Because if we rap with Mook rap, we getting booed off the stage. Right, you can put, bet your fucking house on that. Go rap with Mook rap in your delivery and see how long you like. A, B, I seen him on the D, E, F, H, I. We go with this shit. K, K, just kidding. Like when he going at, when he going to that, you you and me can't do that without getting booed off the stage. So that nigga's one of the greatest at at making shit that's so regular be be amazing to the sheep. Next, shout out my nigga. Mo- Listen, nigga. I, I hate you, QP man. I hate you, QP bro. All right, all right. I'm just saying, JK. Just kidding. You feel me? And if you do, I need to run that back. I run it back to y'all. I said A, B, C on the way. Like, nigga, Mook. Okay, QP, you act like in a small room, you can beat Mook. See, now we can have that conversation. They talk about me in a small room versus Lux. You gonna bring me a nigga with a lesser pen than Lux. Who's talking? Okay, is the battle gonna happen? No, no, maybe not, maybe not. There's a lot of battles we wanna see that's never gonna happen. But... Just on the thing, they don't even throw me and Mook in a small room. They'd be like, man, you and Lux in a small room? Oh, my God, you. And I'd be like, yeah, that's fire. But you talking about me and Mook in a small room where he going to be saying shit like, I have quantum take leaps. I'm talking the speed and rate of, shut up, Mook, because I'm going to come in there, right, with, with that shit you talking and be like, what? my round going to be like, what the fuck was that? And really break his shit down because that's what nobody's never done. They've never talked about how Mook is the greatest turd mm. polisher in the game. This is what this is it. He's the shit because he could take and make nothing out of nothing and turn it into something. That's how he got here. Feel me? That's how he got here. So it's like I like niggas like that because I feel us other niggas, Bill Collector, all of us, we take the shit and we only take the raw ingredients and then make this culinary cuisine that only these specific people can make and when other people make imitation versions of it you could you could taste mm. the missing ingredients Ooh, oh he gets a cumin hold on oh no nah, this ain't got no motherfucking garlic in it like you could tell that this ain't the actual recipe but it's so close to it you'll take it it ain't a crispy cream but it's one of them fresh asian bakery donuts we'll take it we'll take it it's not crispy cream though go ahead that's all i'm saying cats like for real like, Mook cannot beat me in a small room if I actually cared and he cared and we had some uh, history, which we don't. But if we did, like, me and Lux don't have to have any history for people to say, oh, I want okay. to see that in a small room. You don't have to have any. But me and Mook would need to have, because that's where he's at. So, but yeah, man, shout out Mook. He killed me on the big stage. Um, but if you talk a small room, I'm never just going to be like, oh, yeah, it's over. Nah, because that means he, I'm having a conversationalist, like, battle with with a real specific set of ears. Cause if you in that room, they're only letting specific type of fans in there. So it's like, you know. Who, who you had one at Mooka Twerk? No, I told you I had I had Mook winning on the replay. But first watch you had watch. If you looked at what Twerk did. Yeah, no, first watch I had Twerk two one, okay. if not three zip, just based on I'm talking about bro, the shit that the fans look at. They look mm. at crowd control. They look at like how his shit hit versus how his shit hit. They just compare that. They don't even care about the the fucking tech technical bars, the how personal. They care about what he did for three minutes and thirty seconds, and then what he did for three minutes and thirty seconds. And then they compare that, and then they'll be like, "There's no way fucking Mook beat Twerk if you just fucking." How about fact? Listen, if you ran Mook's rounds and Twerk's rounds and took their audio off and just played the crowd reaction you would see why those fans that say twerk won said he won so like that's something that i always wanted to do was was strip silence the audio that's on it and keep only the background so you can hear without no fucking bias this is what man a did and what man b did 
feel me? Like, and if you do that, niggas, all this bias shit out the window. It's like, bro, stop, stop playing with me. You want to talk about bar for bar? He won. Okay, you you got that. But you're talking about battle rap in the building with judges. <clears throat> that nigga lost. Moot fucking died out there. Oh no. But if you're talking about real, taking it back to the essence, no, he no, it's no way, no way that 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 shit twerk did was more potent than what Moot did. You know, with the opposites and just how he do his shit, it's not impressive until he tell us what he did. You didn't see how I did this right there with the opposite? Nah, you saying you want me to go out there and do what he do when all them other little niggas do what he do already. You want me to waste 30, you want me to waste two minutes of my round doing what these little niggas do. How many niggas do what I do? Exactly. If he had a whistle, he'd have been like, that's it. Shout out Mook. I hate these niggas. That, that can't be recreated. This shit is, shout out Lux. Can't recreate these niggas. There's no baby Luxes. Oh, they said it was JC. They said it was V-Dot. It, it, then it faded away. Because they was like, ah, never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> QP, no QP. Ahead, if you were Dreads, what's the first battle you taking? That's my favorite nigga not rapping, bro. Like, that's that nigga's performance, bro. Well, I would trade in all of these pins and accolades just for a half dash of that shit. I don't know Los, but I'll approach Los. You feel me? Yeah. That's fire! And I would never write it. But uh, if I was Briz, nah, you, he needs that mook battle and he does need that big bag. Because, you know, that shit that happened in real life, like, mook is past rapping against Briz. Because of what happened at the gas station with the hammer or whatever. Because Briz was on that type of time and he was basically out of position. I told niggas, if you catch QP with a hammer and I have nothing on me, I will succumb to whatever the situation is, especially with, with my bitch there. I'm like, hey man, I right, hey bet, man, listen. That online shit be crazy, right? <laughs> hey, whatever. Nigga, I'm out of the situation, right? And then after that, just know don't try to come rap with me, bro. You tried to fucking nail me to the cross with my bitch, bro, with a fucking ace hardware hammer. Don't don't come or hit my line and be like, hey, some big bread on the line. We could both get 50 a piece, 100 a piece. Let's let's push this shit aside. You know, that hammer shit. Listen. <laughs> Let me screw it. <laughs> you feel me? You know the drill. Let's switch, <laughs> let's switch the hole. You start scheming to this nigga. Mortar move, talking corny scenes anyway. You feel me? I was friends. I'm like, yo, it's dark side. Listen, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, listen. Let's nail this hammer to the cross. I know I said it backwards. Listen, Mook, get the bread, bro. That's that's the only battle for Briz that makes sense. Murder Mook. I don't want to see nothing else from Briz. Other than that, keep being Muslim, keep doing the shit with the bow ties and, and waking waking people's soul awakening, all that. Do that. I'm with that. Um, over battling for no reason. These some of these battles make absolutely no sense. So I you mean know, niggas battling anybody. What's true? What's is true right now? Yo, man, yo, QP, woman of the year, who got it this year? Is it Jazz? Is it Hustle? Was it Coffee? Big, 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 big Bag Jazz. Um, you could argue for Hustle, you know what I'm saying? Because he just rapped like a nigga, man. Like, that shit is impressive. Um, but at the same time, Jazz then battled a lot of our favorites. Like, she, she beat, if, if Twerk beat Mook, she beat Twerk. Do the math, dumb niggas. It doesn't matter if they're friends and they wrote together-ish or like had a theme she still beat these she beat rum rum won 150 split it with geeky who beat easy this is the same woman she's outside i don't know bro what about outside. coffee bro i think coffee might have edged it bro the coffee, I, nah, but no, no 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 it's easily coffee's year but if you're talking about jazz who don't come out every year she's outside the the highest this is this is the most viewed female battle rapper. This is the top tier of the top tier. There's no fucking female bitch higher than Jazz, the rapper. You know how you call it? She's been her for about 15 True. years now or longer. Oh, so yeah, so with that, she's outside. She's battling the greats. She's taking W's or making classics. You got to give that immediately. So I'm looking at Coffee's resume compared to Jazz's resume and then it's just, it's Jazz. Jazz, the rapper's outside. It's an automatic shoeing. Uh, that's not really close. fair. It shouldn't be an automatic shoeing right. because it's jazz. No, no, I'm saying it. Coffee's been in the running for however many years we've been doing this. Jazz has never been in the mm. running because she don't battle enough. Now she's in the running. She has the resume. She has the name. She has the you know that's gonna translate to 
sorry, Coffee, do it again next year because Jazz ain't going to be outside okay. like this next year. So if you just do this one more time, you good money. But for this year, it would be crazy not to give it to Big Bag. It just looks good for all of the, the people, the award show, when they give it Big Bag Jazz and they hand it to her. More views on the interviews, all the shit. The whole campaign is going to be just Big Bag Jazz instead of Coffee. Shout out Coffee, but she's not, she's not outside advertising. She's not, she's not putting in a lot of work as far as besides the battles. Like, she's not doing the whole package. She's not doing little series and shows and comedy skits and, and showing us the best of coffee. I don't know what coffee's real name is. I know who Magenta Bracey is. Ah, come on. Like, you can't, come crazy. on. Stop, stop, stop. stop. You're doing you too much, bro. You, you, you bugging right now. Look, 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 at Rum, look at Rum Nitty. What's Rum Nitty doing this year that he never did? He's doing skits. He's showing his personality. He's giving us a peek inside of who Rum Nitty is, who Cornell whatever the fuck his last name is, who that is. We're going to know who Cornell is at the end of the year, like the Ivy Leagues, nigga. It's going down. Shout out Rub. You see how talented he is. The throwaways that he's given us for Lux, oh, my God, I would have never thrown them away. Them shits was fucking amazing. But he's that good, and he's showing you. Yes, I am an alien. I can give you bars that niggas would write and would, wouldn't even think to fucking let you get a peek into. And he did that, that because that niggas, the, the Mount Everest of punchlines, nigga, I don't think there's nobody else up there with the nigga. I don't think it's rum and then this nigga and this nigga and this nigga and this. I think it's just rum nitty. And then the rest of the niggas is like the top 11 through 20. So top punchliners, one through 10, rum nitty. Over Khan, over B Magic, all these niggas. His punches hit different. And as a nigga that's a fucking true, genuine nerd, there's nothing that makes more sense than a rum nitty punchline. And the typical man can't just sit down and think of no shit like that. So shout, shout that nigga out. I hate that he's been losing a couple battles, but... I don't even think he lost those battles. You feel me? I don't think he lost the Foots or Illmatic. I watched the battles again. Nope. Nigga took that. Like, like, like a Diddy fucking ad lib. Take that. Take That's what he been doing. He been taking them battles, nigga. Hey, yo, Kevin Mitchell said, you see how scared. You see how much battle rap media was scared to say easy loss yesterday. They had no choice, though. The polls is up. Nigga, 10,000 votes on Hip Hop is Real, and they got fucking 50% John mm -hmm. John 2-1. I don't, I don't know if it was the rapping or if it was the dropping of the video, but whatever it was, it's like people was ready to go on my mans. They was ready to check mm -hmm. out on Easy, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's what happened when you lie, though. If you lie, nigga, they will. They'll strip you down. We'd rather see you. And you're, and you you're said wrong. when we lie, then then to, to notice you lie. Yeah, like when when they find the people that they look up to. Like there were stretches back during grind time days, but people genuinely would be like, "You're who they're here for, right?" When you become that person, so when you go to a battle and it's ten battles, five battles on, and people are there, like I'm not here to see nobody except you, and you'd be like, "Oh, for real." There's so much shit that come with that. So, like, whatever you're doing in your personal life, motherfuckers is right there to be like, nah, not my motherfucking Mike P. You know, not my motherfucking rum. Like, this is where they're at. So it's like, once you let them down, and, and he went there in HD with the makeup on and said, nobody's ever touched him. Nobody's ever. There's people that held on to that shit. I didn't, hel I didn't hang on to it because I lie all the time about nothing. It could be, you got eggs in the refrigerator? I don't. Yep, sure do. I yoke you up if you, I'm, for no reason. So don't, you feel me? Don't judge me off that. And it's like, that's your battle rap is. So he lied, and I think fans not forgiving him for that. And then you're not even with Remy still. You should at least be with Remy. She back at home talking about, hey, Pat, 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 Pat. Queen said he love you. Shut up. Feel me? This is crazy. Now, all of this for what? And then they got audio, and it's like, niggas, they wanted, um, they call him a chatty patty. And I'm like, bro, if I got hit, I'm not supposed to call nobody and tell them I got hit with two clean jaws. Loving hip hop might pick it up. You know, like, what? How is he a chatty patty? Like, in my life, my life, that I call and confide in somebody, I'm a chatty patty. So I called and did this on a live radio show. I did this on a news sure. feed. I did this in StreamYard. I did this in the space. No, I did this yeah. in confidence. And somebody took that, put it up. He, so they got to stop running the chatty patty shit. Like everybody talking about easy, but easy can't talk about easy. That's why mm. I hate battle rap. That's crazy. He's a chatty, he's a chatty patty. I turn into a shop chick. Shut up. You niggas is crazy. The algorithm can't talk about the algorithm. I hate you niggas. That's why I, I'm not even worried about it. Philly, I'm a battle in Philly. The trenches, I'm a book niggas. We're going to keep doing this. 
I'm going to do pay-per-views. I'm going to eat how these other leagues been. It took them five or ten years to eat. I'm eating how they eat in the first year. You niggas is crazy. And I'm going to do that. Philly love, Philly love easy. Just go from there. You don't have to have the world, nigga. They'll love you from locally, exponentially, through the satellite. And go from there, nigga. And then, feel me? Shout out easy. It's too easy for me to go on the wave. Oh, fuck easy. Nah, easy's still a goat, man. Still one of people. I still want to see him versus Tay Rock. And Tay Rock can still lose that battle. It's just going into the Tay Rock still Tay-Rock lose that battle. Coming off of this John John. Oh, he could. He I could. He could, could lose okay. that battle. But he, but he, would, he would be favored to beat easy because before this when easy was on that run there was he would have been favored to okay. beat tay rock if they battled but now if they battle tay rock would be favored to win just given the weight and the scale of things because we want to see tay rock versus surf at some point and that's because surf and tay rock are a complete different breed than the rest of the other top tier battle rappers so it's like i need to see that easy was supposed to be a different breed from these other battle rappers but when surf wiped john john's nose after calling them and say, hey, we could write this battle together and make history. And John John laughed, turned it down, and then he wiped John John's nose after that. That's the type of shit you gotta do, easy. You gotta wipe these niggas' noses in your own city, though. You gotta wipe his nose. Feel me? It's okay though. He, he did good. Easy did real good. He did real good. Um, that's some shit you can brag about. You can share it. It'll have viral moments. It's gonna do numbers. Um, he just lost that shit. He lost that shit, and he gotta figure out what he gonna do to uh kind of get past you know all of the fans that was following him for the realness of who he was versus he told you he's an actor it's listed on wikipedia with his full name anthony whatever actor american actor and he's on like three or four movies are you niggas crazy he doesn't have to chip drywall out and sell it to the fiends no more idiots he never mm. has to do that again mm. ever so we mm. you feel me he just you don't gotta do it. He's a chip off the old block. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the part that, you know, that's why 50 don't got no albums and shit. Get Richard Dyke trying and shit. It's like, nigga, he can't rap that shit no more. All he can do is do power and, you know, shit like that. Canaan, Raising Canaan. That's where he's headed. Yo, so I want to hear him. Yo, Bill Collector and on. Bad News. Hmm? Oh, my God, Bill. Shout out Bad News because he's improved so much uh with with his delivery's always been fire but he's improved with just saying oversaturated shit that we heard before just a little bit different no that's why what? i be like damn bad news if he coming bad news like wait, wait since when he first came in he always had like hella sauce and swag and charisma but he was just saying shit that we fucking definitely knew and heard before so now the newer bad news is like he's rewording it putting his own spin on it and his the, his believability is through the roof so it's like man that's what's up now you talking about bars? Bill got all that shit I just named, plus the fucking bars. So like, Bill just showed levels in this shit. Like to me, it's levels and and how he set his shit up. And then this is skinny Bill. This ain't Bill in the gym. This is Bill with a white beater. You feel me? With us weighing fucking one hundred and twenty nine pounds most likely. But since he six foot one hundred and forty seven pounds, nigga, like this is that hungry Bill. You not beating that Bill news. You in there looking comfortable. He just fed you mozzarella fucking garlic knots, nigga, from the city. Nigga, that was a fucking, that was the last supper, nigga. That was your last supper before he did Dang. how they did Jesus, nigga. So, like, yeah. You, you gonna tell me different? Bad news won around in that? You well, bad news fought around back around in the that? second and third, definitely. Yeah. I, I didn't say he No, I got, I got Bill one. This shit. Yeah, 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 no, no, for sure. That's what I'm saying. I got Bill clearly taking that, whereas a lot of the other battles, there's a lot of debating going on. There's no debating for this one. This is a clear cut. Bill was at home. You feel me? Uh, Norristown is, is rather close to where the venue, you know, close in proximity compared to the rest of the other. And they was in the building. They they love uh, Bill in Philly. You feel me? So the ignorance town bar, you feel me, wasn't that dope from John because we heard that bitch a million times. We, you know how many times we heard he ain't from his city, Norristown. You know how many times we heard that? Like, you know me? We heard any Norristown flip, unless you're a genius like Rum, do not come with a Norristown flip. I don't, I don't. Okay, okay, it. okay. All right, all right. Yo, QP, okay, I'm going to hit bro. you later on and shit, man. You jump, uh, I'll get back on the live and shit. Man, for sure. Easier. Thanks for having me, G.